Travel the world and seven seas. Everybody is looking for something. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to get used by you. Some of them want to abuse you. Some of them want to be abused. Hi, today I want to show you my new program. It's called Sync Boss. As you have seen in the intro, I'm controlling the stringy line by showing a face and syncing the lip with the vocal. So how does it work? I'm using the so-called Ultrastar files. Ultrastar is an open source project. It's a kind of karaoke game. Privately, I'm not using this player. I use uh, another one so-called vocal Lex. As you can see here, it will display the lyrics like karaoke. And you have to sing to hit the note. If you get the note right, then you will get a score. Just like the sing star of Sony PlayStation. I don't want to go to the details of the player because I'm only using the files. I don't want to give you the link where to download the files because I'm not sure with the copyright issue. What you can do is just search for Ultra Star Songs Download. A song typically consists of four files. You can see here, there's a video file and a JPEG for the album clip art and there's a mp3 file and there's a text file to the lyrics information. I'm only using this tree here. I'm not using the video file. First of all, you have to download some Ultra Star songs in order to test the sync boss. I've already downloaded some here and then you go to my Google Drive. I've got a shortcut, I will put it in the description. And download the 7-zip file from my Google Drive. I've already downloaded here and extracted. Then you have to go to the SyncBoss folder and under data you will see the setting file. Then you have to change this uh, according to your location of the songs and then save it. Now let's start the program by running the batch file run.bat. For the first time you have to allow the access to the network. Again the warning as usual, this program is written for myself. If you want to try it go ahead but you are doing it at your own risk. Now you can see the program has detected two sets of lights. They are here. It's the curtain and the strings here. Now when I close it, then it will pop up with the list of my songs here. And when I select it, the album clip art will change. And I can see here, there are my lights. These are the names of my device. Let's say I select a string here and open this song. For some reason, sometimes it just ends immediately the song. I have to restart it again. So I need to find out what's the reason. I still need to fix it. Let me try again. I just want to show you the environment file. So I pause it by pressing the P. Here you can see it's tr trying to load the strings 400.txt because my device here is called string 400 so it's taking this name to load the environment file. Because I haven't got the file at the moment, so it just loads the default file. Here there's env.txt. So let's have a look into the environment file. 
it's under the data folder. Before we do any changes, we can make a copy of it. And this time we are going to call it just like our device name, strings 400. The first parameter is a GIF directory. So this is the default one. We want to set it to our GIF directory. It's here. Let's copy this one. Then put it here. The bit per minute is basically controlling the speed to change the effect. And the next one is a GIF rectangle. It's defining the location where the GIF is shown. In this case, it's showing the middle. The Twingly coordinate is x from minus 1 to 1. So I'm defining the bottom left corner from minus dot 5 to top right corner dot 5. So it's in the middle. And now here it is defining the face location. It's just the same, just like the, uh, defining a box. So basically here are two locations and the program will go to two locations. So the face is sometimes on the left hand side and the sometimes on the right hand side. So let's close it and see how it goes. So because it's reading the file every time when I select a song, so I don't need to close this. It looks like I have done a mistake somewhere. It didn't load my string 400, still loading the default file. Okay, I found my mistake here. I have to use the backslash to escape the backslash here. So let's try again. So you can see there's only one. Now I want to show you one more thing. I just group my lights into one area group. Uh, for that I need to restart here just to get it scan my devices again. So this time you can see the curtain is the master slave is here, the string 400. So this time you can see there's only one because they are grouped together. And the name of the group is not the name in the Twingly app. So the full name here, you can see the curtain 210 and master 1061 here. So, and this name, I have to use it for my environment file. So go back to here. I already got one prepared. That's uh, my environment file. Let's copy this one and put it into the data folder. Okay, let's try again. Now you can see it has loaded the group environment file. The face is on the strings at the moment and jump to the curtain. It's the same group. I can also hide the face by pressing the F key. Now it's showing GIFs only. And I can press home to go back. Restart the song and press F. The face is back. You can find more shortcut in the README file. I can press P to pause. So at the end, I don't know why the lights is not coming up, so I need to fix it. As you can see, the software is still a little bit buggy. If you have any questions, just post in the comments section, or if you find any bugs, this is all about my SingBoss 1.0. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Sweet
dreams of later years You and my are to disagree I travel the world and seven